and welcome to David Hall's classic beginner 10 minute jumping routine. We included the warm up and the cool down to make this a 15 minute workout. I'm Stephanie and I'm jumping on the one and only Seller Size of Rebounder created by David Hall, which has the very best resistance mat made for all levels of jumping and built to last a lifetime. Let's jump right into this routine with health bounce. Being a wide stance, let's just do a gentle bounce here. Start pumping the body. Start moving the breath. So let's go ahead and tilt the head forward, roll to the side and down to the other side and down to the other side and down to the other side and down. Look to the side, really stretch it all the way around and look to the other side. Great job. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders forward. Big circles. We're opening up the chest and the upper back. Great job. Let's roll it back. Great job. Let's go ahead and do south feet. We're reaching and pressing into the mat at the same time, back and forth, bringing those shoulders up, rocking the hips, so opening up that spine. Core is firm and tight. Three, two, one. We're going to do five long breaths, holding onto the bar. Exhale at the bottom of the bounce in three, two, one. Great job. First, what we're going to do, we're going to face the bar or face away from the bar. We're going to bring those knees up, okay? We're going to work that core. We're going to work those thighs. I want you to bring your knees up as high as you can and lean back just slightly if you can, if it makes you comfortable. Let's engage that stomach wall. Let's engage that face, the front of the body right now. Every time we land, we're just slightly leaning back and we're working the front of the body, including the face. Exhale as the knee comes up. I want you to pace yourself. Go at your perfect pace so we can last the entire minute. We're just gonna grind through and keep going. Keep moving. Take breaks whenever you need to. Next move we're going to do is forward kicks. I'm going to face the bar in three, two, one. Here we go. Mid bounce. I want you to keep focusing on that core. Keep focusing on those abs, that trophy waist. Bring your feet up as high as you can. If you can give me a nice flex in the quad as the leg is at the top. That definitely starts working those quads, working those thighs. Point those toes or flex the feet, whichever you prefer, whichever keeps you going. And I do want you to lean back just slightly if you can. It helps to really engage the front of the body. Only kick as high as you can, honor your fitness level. We're getting into side to side kick next. Three, two, one. Here we go. I want you to keep your spine straight up as much as you can. Reach your head toward the ceiling. Pendulum kicking back and forth. Weight is distributed evenly back and forth. Try to keep it even on both sides. We're working the outer thigh, the inner thigh, and the obliques. Go into those obliques. You want a firmer, tighter waist. This is the move for you. Exhale at the top. Chest is up. Keep that perfect posture. It's all about the form. 10 more seconds. Back kicks next. In three, two, one. Here we go. 
I want you to keep your chest up. I want you to focus on that lower back. Focus on your glute muscles. Trying to lift that glute up as much as you can. Lift that leg up with it. Engaging that lower back. We really need to work on building muscle in our core, in our lower back as well. Keep that chest up. It helps us to engage our core, our stomach muscles as well. Keep it even, keep it focused. Back and forth, the same on both sides. Ten more seconds. Gentle twist is next. In three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm gonna do a mid bounce in between. So I really want you to focus on that twist, opening up that lower back, creating that nice twist and firm, smaller waist. Make it count, twist as much as you can. Going into hip twist in three, two, one. So body is facing forward and we're just rotating the knee out side to side, opening up those thighs. Keep your breath moving. Exhale as you kick forward. Next we're doing ski patrol. In three, two, one. Here we go. So we want to bring that heel all the way forward in a diagonal kick. We have full foot contact on the mat as we lean back and as we bounce on that back leg. But I want you to focus on bouncing more on your heel as much as possible. Lean back just slightly, really opening up that lower back, creating flexibility and strengthening our back. We're getting into ski bounces next. In three, two, one, here we go. I'm going all in here, back and forth. Do the best you can for the slight bend in your knees. Keep that core nice and firm. We're engaging those quads and those calves, working the entire lower body. Stick with me here, five more seconds. We're going into Jamba Walk in three, two, one. Feet in a wide stance, bend the knees, chest is up, tummy is firm and tight. We're pressing into the mat back and forth. I want you to go into your quads, your hamstrings, and your glutes. Start with the quads, flex the quads. Feel that nice firm flex. Press that flex into the mat on both sides. Now let's go into the lower leg, the hamstring. Flex the backs of the legs, press the backs of the legs into the mat as much as you can. Chest is up. Now let's go into our glute muscles. Flex that booty, flex those glutes, pressing that flex into the mat, back and forth. Now let's go into the entire leg. Quads, hamstrings, glutes, everything is flexed. Pressing back and forth, 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's go ahead and bring our right arm out. This is like a robot move. It's a single arm reach. I want you to firmly flex your upper body, especially on your right side. Flex your lat muscles, flex your chest, your shoulders, your entire arm. Kind of like a robot made of steel. You want to just bring it out and in. Feeling that engagement as we bounce. Three, two, switching sides. Here we go. Rigid movement because we're flexing and we have a firm upper body. Make it count. Make it flexed. Make it firm and tight. That's where all the magic happens. We don't have to leave the mat with our feet because we're flexing harder. 
So we're going to go back to the other side. I want to give you the option, if you can, to do both arms at the same time. If you can, we're going to do, just do one arm at a time. I am. And I want to flex. I want you to flex. Flex and tighten and firm that upper body. Give me your all right here, right now. Really reaching with that arm. Make it burn. Feel the burn. Feel the flex. Switching sides for those of us doing one arm. In three, two, one. Keep doing both arms. Stick with me. 30 more seconds. Core is firm and tight. Keep that flex. Keep that upper body nice and firm. Going into tricep reach next. In three, two, one. Right arm. I want you to point it back and down. Keep facing the bar. I want you to reach for the ground. Reach and squeeze your arm up against your body. Reach and squeeze both at the same time and move that breath and bounce. That's all you gotta do. Reach and squeeze. Make it count. Five, four, three, two, one. Switching sides. Really reach. There's something on the ground that you're gonna pick up because you're gonna reach for it. Your fingers are gonna extend to the ground. And you're gonna squeeze your arm into that upper body. We're gonna sit down next. So I want you to give me 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Let's go ahead and sit down at your own pace. I'm gonna sit in between the bar. My feet are flat on the ground. All we're gonna do is lean back here, hold the bar, and let's put a firm flex in the core. I want you to lean back as much as you can if you're holding the bar. I want you to have a nice, strong neck. Lift your head up out of your shoulders. Keep that core firm and tight, and move the breath and bounce. Focus on that landing. Every time you land, add that weight resistance. We're lifting weights, we're adding that resistance, we're adding that gravity, we're building density in our muscles, we're building strength. Focus on that bounce, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Now I want you to kick up, alternating legs. I want you to relax your neck as much as possible. Just lifting each knee up, back and forth. Focus on that bounce. When we're landing, when we're sinking into the mat, that's where the magic happens. Exhale at the top. Go at your own pace. Fifteen more seconds. Relax the neck. Core is tight. Five, four, three, two, one. Great job. Go ahead and stand up. Go at your own perfect pace. We're gonna get into our warm down now. Starting with selfie. Reaching and pressing into the mat on the same side, back and forth. Bringing those shoulders up. Stretching out that spine. Slow down the breath. Great job. Let's go ahead and do some gentle twist. And then let's do some hip twist. Body is forward, just opening up those thighs. Great job. Let's go ahead and roll out the shoulders. And roll them back. A 
All right, last move. Let's go ahead and gently roll up the neck. Just gently bouncing. All right, awesome job. Thank you all so much for joining me. We're building trophy bodies of steel starting with 10 minutes a day, starting with 15, 20 minutes a day. It's not about the duration of the exercise. It's about what you can do, how you can perform, the intensity of the move, practicing perfect form, practicing perfect breath, and flexing. That's where the magic happens. You got this. We have faith in every single one of you to reach your trophy body, giving it your best that you can do and making progress. That's how we build momentum. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.